Samantha the Salmon's Great River Journey In the crystal clear waters of a quiet mountain stream, under the dappled light of towering pine trees, there lived a young salmon named Samantha. Samantha was brave and adventurous, with shiny silver scales that glistened when the sun touched them. She had grown up listening to stories of the Great River Journey, a journey that every salmon must take to the open ocean and back to their birthplace to continue the cycle of life. Samantha's wise mother often said, The journey is full of challenges, but it teaches you courage, perseverance, and the importance of helping others. Now, it was Samantha's turn to leave the gentle stream and embark on this grand adventure. She was joined by her friends Finn, a clever and quick-thinking salmon and coral, who is small but mighty. Are you ready, Samantha? Finn asked, his eyes sparkling with excitement. Samantha took a deep breath and nodded. Ready as I'll ever be, she said, her voice steady, but tinged with nervousness. With one strong flick of their tails, the three friends began their journey downstream, heading toward the Great River. The river surprises. The current of the Great River was much stronger than the gentle stream Samantha had always known. It rushed and roared, carrying them swiftly past rocky shores and through deep pools. At first, the speed was exhilarating. They laughed and splashed, playing a game of chase as the river swept them along. But soon, the trio encountered their first challenge. A narrow canyon loomed ahead, and the water funneled through it with powerful force. Samantha's heart raced as she felt the pull of the current. The rocks around them jutted out like jagged teeth, and the sound of rushing water was deafening. Stay close. Samantha called, feeling the thrill of adventure mixed with fear. She darted left and right, avoiding the sharp rocks, and felt a surge of relief each time Finn and Coral appeared beside her, tails flicking fast to keep up. Danger lurks below. One day, as they swam through a quieter section of the river, Coral noticed shadows moving beneath them. Her eyes widened. Watch out. It's a predator. A sleek, Powerful fish darted up from below, a pike, with sharp teeth and hungry eyes. Samantha's heart thudded, and she felt a shiver run through her scales. Quick, hide! Finn shouted, leading them toward a fallen log resting on the riverbed. They squeezed under it just as the pike's teeth snapped above them. The trio held their breath as the predator circled. Samantha could feel coral trembling next to her. She whispered, We're safe here but we need to be brave and smart. The pike eventually swam away, and the friends emerged, shaken but safe. Samantha looked at her friends and smiled. That was close, but we did it. We stayed together, and that's what matters. The beauty of the open ocean. After days of navigating the river, Samantha, Finn, and Coral reached the mouth of the river, where it met the ocean. The world opened up before them, vast and blue. Waves crashed and rolled, and schools of silver fish glittered like diamonds beneath the water's surface. It's more beautiful than I imagined, Coral said, her eyes wide with wonder. The ocean was both exciting and daunting. They explored coral reefs teeming with colorful fish, played in the swirls of seaweed forests, and watched pods of dolphins dance through the waves. But it wasn't all play. Samantha and her friends had to stay alert for dangers like sharks and jellyfish. One day, while resting in a quiet cove, they saw a pod of dolphins leaping gracefully in the distance. Finn grinned. They look like they're having the best time ever. Maybe one day we'll leap like that, Samantha said with a laugh. The return home. After many moons in the open ocean, the time came for Samantha and her friends to make the journey back to their birthplace. The river called to them, and they felt a pull deep in their hearts to return. The journey upstream was harder than the journey down. The current was strong, pushing against them with every tail flick. Samantha's muscles ached, but she pressed on. Along the way, they met other salmon, each one fighting the same battle against the current. Don't give up, Coral said, determination in her eyes. We can do this together. Just as they neared the final stretch, they heard a loud, splashing noise. A hungry bear was fishing in the shallow water ahead, swiping at salmon as they leaped up a small waterfall. Samantha's heart pounded. 
She looked at her friends. We have to be brave. Watch each other's backs and keep moving. Finn leaped first, darting past the bear's outstretched paw. Coral followed with a small but mighty leap. Samantha took a deep breath and jumped. She felt the rush of air and water, and for a moment, time seemed to stand still. Then, with a splash, she landed safely on the other side. They swam onward, finally reaching the peaceful, familiar stream where their journey began. The friends looked at each other, tired but filled with pride. The moral of the story, Samantha's journey was full of adventure, danger, and beauty. She learned that bravery wasn't just about being fearless, it was about facing challenges with determination and staying close to those who matter. It was about helping others and finding strength in friendship. And so, Samantha and her friends became a legend among the salmon, a story told to young fish about how the journey of life is full of surprises, challenges, and joys that are best shared with those we care about. Facts about salmon for kids. Amazing travelers, salmon travel hundreds of miles from their birthplace to the ocean and back again. Upstream fighters. Salmon swim upstream against strong currents to return to where they were born. Bravery and teamwork. Salmon often swim in groups. For protection and to help each other through challenging waters. Food chain role. Salmon are important in the food chain, feeding bears, birds, and other animals. Strong jumpers. Salmon can jump up waterfalls to continue their journey upstream. Vocabulary overview for kids. Current. The flow of water in a river or ocean that can push or pull things along. Cove, a small, sheltered bay where the water is calm. Predator, an animal that hunts other animals for food, like the pike in the story. Scales, the small, shiny plates that cover a fish's body. Coral reef, a colorful underwater area made of coral where many fish live. Perseverance, continuing to try even when something is difficult, like when the salmon swim upstream. Sheltered, a place that is protected from weather or danger, like the cove in the ocean. Determination, a firm intention to do something, no matter how hard it is. Daunting, something that seems difficult or scary, like the vast ocean at first. Leap, two, jump high or far, like the salmon jumping up the waterfall.